Hey guys, it's Fee, and I'm here for an update, finally. <laughs> I know last time I said I was not going to clump together, you know, numerous weeks, and here I am doing the biggest clump yet. <laughs> I believe the last time I did an update was week 15. I feel a little guilty about that because I am currently 19 weeks and 6 days, <laughs> so I owe you 4 weeks worth of stuff. Um, week 16 rolled around and I was going to do an update and I said, well, you know, I really don't have a lot to say because at that point I had, um, no longer had weekly doctor's appointments. So there wasn't a lot going on. Not a lot had changed. And I said, well, you know, I'll wait one more week and I'll do it at week 17. Well, week 17 and the beginning of week 18, life kind of got a little busy. <laughs> So it didn't happen, and then my husband and I went on our baby moon for the end of week 18 and the majority of week 19. We just got back, so here I am, and I owe you four weeks. <laughs> so this is week 16 through 19. I'm going to include week 19 because I'm right at the end of it, so let's jump on in this. I did write notes, otherwise I, I would not remember. That's for sure. I would not remember what's been going on. So, let's see what I have here. The first things that I wrote down is, at week 16, baby was the size of an onion. And by week 18, baby was the size of a uh, sweet potato or a bell pepper, depending on what website you looked at. And now, at week 19, baby is the size of mango. And that, that just completely blows me away. I looked down at my belly and I'm like, there's a mango in there, oh my gosh. <laughs> Not really, but you get the picture. So, starting back at week 16, we'll just go with pregnancy symptoms, and I will start back at week 16 and make my way all the way back up to now. Um, during week 16 and 17, especially, I had a super itchy belly. <laughs> I was constantly itching and itching and itching. I, for a while there, I was getting worried. I was like, what, what is with all this itching? This is crazy. And then some people said, you know what, it's only going to get worse. Don't worry about it. Um, it did slow down. I haven't had any itching this week or last week, but I really think it was because of all the stretching I had going on. I had tons of stretching pains. Um, starting in week 16 all the way through 18, there were lots of stretching pains. Um, they felt muscular, they felt like throbbing pains. The location of them made me feel that they were round ligament pain, so I wasn't really worried. Though I did feel some right literally around the belly button, which was a little bit strange to me. <laughs> Um, the rest were very low, off to the side, that kind of thing. No, nothing, nothing directly in the center except for around the belly button. So I did feel a lot of stretching pains, which probably accounted to the whole scratching thing because I've come to the conclusion that the whole trying to prevent stretch marks, yeah, that's genetic and I lost. <laughs> um, I think some people just have really great genes for having stretchy skin, and I am not one of them. Um, as I've said before, I'm a plus size girl. My weight has gone up and down, um, to the point of being a, well, let's just say it, a size six all the way up to a size 22 and anything in between. So I've, I've gained stretch marks through those journeys, but, um, only a few, not a big deal. I thoroughly did expect to, to get stretch marks during this pregnancy. It really didn't bother me, but just like any other girl, I did try to prevent them. I've been using oils and lotions and coconut oil and coconut butter and shea butter and anything and everything you can think of, and it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. I do already have the starts of stretch marks, and they kind of... You know, it's weird. The ones that I've had from past... Uh, weight loss journeys, it, it's almost like these are appearing in the same spot, um, only they're lengthening them, which is a little strange. It's like part of them have that white color from the, the old part, and now like the top parts are pink from the new parts. It's, yeah, that's probably more information than you need. But yeah, stretch marks are happening. Kind of goes hands in hand with the... Um, the stretching feelings and the itchy belly, and so it kind of all made sense. Other than that, for the entire past four weeks, I really have not had many other symptoms other than um, the girls still occasionally have pains. 
They are very sharp, throbbing pains that come with no warning, and then they stick around for a while, and then before I know it, they're gone. And then they come back, and then, yeah, so sometimes it's on one side, sometimes it's on both sides. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to it. So that, that has not stopped. That's still continuing. Um, the nausea and the morning sickness and whatnot has, for the most part, stayed away, but I will say... Mr. Toothbrush and I don't get along very well. It's about a 50-50 chance as to whether or not brushing my teeth is going to cause issues. We'll just leave it at that, issues. <laughs> but I know that's coming, um, so I, I try and prepare myself for it. There are still a couple of smells that will set me off. Um, if you've watched any of my past videos, this will make you laugh. I still I can't even stomach the thought of teriyaki chicken. <laughs> so that's probably not going to change either. But... Um, for the most part, the nausea and the morning sickness is gone, except for those couple of small bouts I have every now and then. So that's really all of the physical side effects and signs of this pregnancy. I will say, the emotions have been a little bit crazy. <laughs> um, and I know it's because of all the hormones. But I would say in the last couple of weeks, it's gotten worse. The craziest things will just set the, you know, the tears flowing. <laughs> um, somebody on Facebook, a friend of mine from work, put this cute little comic up. Now, this is supposed to be funny. They posted it to my wall, and I believe I said, you know what, I don't know whether or not to, to laugh or cry, because I, I it set me off, you know, the, just the concept of m my child hugging any part of my body. It was like, yeah, it was all over with. The waterworks and everything, it was all over with. It was, it was ridiculous. Um, certain songs, certain TV commercials, for crying out loud. Um, certain things that people will say certain things. It There's no rhyme or reason to it. Things that would have made me go, oh, will now make me cry like, a ridiculous person, but <laughs> that's part of it. That's definitely in full effect. Um, movement. Movement. I can't say without a doubt that I have felt movement. Um, I'm definitely ready for it. I'm definitely ready for it. I'm waiting for it. I'm wanting it. I know later on I'm probably going to regret saying that, but I've been really aware of trying to pay attention to whether or not I'm feeling movement and I can't say I've had anything definitive happen that I can say that was definitely a kick or that was definitely a roll or that was definitely movement. Um, I would say a day after my last update, the, um, I believe it was 14 and 15 week update, I uh, was sitting down watching TV with my husband at night and I thought I kind of felt like a flutter that I thought might have been a roll, but I only felt it once and I was kind of like, do it again. Do it again. I want to, is that really what I felt? And it was only that once and I just couldn't tell for sure. There was one weekend where I thought I felt a couple of little pokes, but again, you know, it's not like I've ever been through this before. I don't know what it is that I'm feeling, what it is that I'm looking to feel. So those very well may have been movements, but I just wasn't positive. During week 19, this, this last week, when uh, we were on our baby moon in Key West, um, there was two nights where I was woken up out of a sound sleep. And I can't really account why I woke up other than I thought I felt a kick. But my dreams have been crazy, which is, I'll get into that in a minute. So I don't know if I dreamt it or if it really was a kick and it woke me up. I, I That's about all I got, but I'm definitely wanting the movement. I've, I've been talking to the belly saying, you know what, kick me, punch me. I just, you know what, I just need to know that you're in there. I need to know that you're in there and you're moving around and you're growing. And the movement would definitely help with that. Like I said, I know going into the future, I'm going to regret saying that probably. But I'm definitely waiting for it and wanting it. I'm not too worried about the fact that I haven't felt movement. Um, well, not all the time. There are days where it does kind of concern me. But again, the Doppler really helps. But I will say that the last doctor appointment I had three and a half weeks ago, almost four weeks ago now, um, she did say she didn't expect me to start feeling anything until 20. That it was a good possibility that I might not feel anything until 20 weeks because of where the placenta is. So we're just going to go with that. 
the Doppler that Jody sent me um, has been helping. It has been helping. I, I know I haven't mentioned it in the last couple of vlogs because the first time I tried to use it was, I want to say week 11 or 12, and I just couldn't find anything. And it was kind of upsetting me because I was afraid, of course, when you can't find anything, you think something is wrong, of course. So then I said, okay, you know what? No, it's, I, I, it's just me. I can't find it. Let me put it to the side. And I've been using it over the last four to five weeks. Um, Donnie, the husband, has actually been requesting me to use it every now and then. When he wants to hear the heartbeat, um, whenever he kind of sees me go, oh, from like a stretching pain, it makes him nervous. <laughs> and he just, he wants to hear the heartbeat. So we have been using the Doppler um, occasionally. Not, not, not crazy often, but occasionally whenever, whenever we need that reassurance. And it has definitely helped. I know I have the anterior placenta. So that kind of muffles everything, including trying to find the heartbeat with the Doppler. Plus, you know, I have some I have some pillow protection down there in the first place. So the combination of those two makes it a little more difficult. But um, I have found the heartbeat almost every time that I've tried to use it in the last four or five weeks. It's always been fairly low and to the right, but it has been much easier to find as we go along and it does appear that the spot that I kind of gravitate towards to try and find the heartbeat is getting higher and higher so I have to assume that it is the heartbeat I'm hearing and not like a artery of mine or something like that so I'm just just going with that so the Doppler has definitely helped Jody if you're watching thank you again that has definitely definitely calmed the nerves but I mentioned dreams okay the dreams have been insane I don't always remember them. All I remember half the time is waking up going, what was that? <laughs> and I am not with it enough to like keep one of these little notepads next to my bed and write it down. I, I, I never wake up entirely enough to be able to physically write something. It would probably look like gibberish <laughs> when I actually did wake up in the morning. But it would have been interesting had I been able to do that to go back and read through all these because some of them have been really off the wall. Um, some of my dreams have had people in them that are no longer of this world, if you get my meaning. Um, some of them have had people that I work with. Some of them have had people that I have no idea who they were. Um, there was one that had my cats in it. <laughs> Um, there was one, I did finally have a dream uh, about the baby and having the baby. Um, it was a girl in this dream. So I don't know if we need to go back to that gender reveal video that I did that said if you dream one, it means you're having the other. We'll see. Um, but it was super odd. It was, it was just, it was really strange. Um, the baby was ginormous. And of course it made you wonder, well... Did I just have that baby and how is that possible? <laughs> or it was this a dream from, you know, way in the future? Who, who knows? Who knows? But most of the dreams have not made any sense. They've just been completely off the wall. Um, I do notice that they happen more on nights where I have a hard time staying asleep. Um, I've been trying to lay on my side. I, I have the snoogle pillow, the big round crescent thing. Um, it doesn't always work. It doesn't always help me. I, for the most part, I am a side sleeper, but um, prior to being pregnant, I didn't always stay on my side. I would kind of flip from one side to the other or on my back or whatnot. Um, and obviously now I'm not supposed to lay on my back, so I kind of put pillows behind me or I use the snoogle and it kind of helps keep me in place. But I keep waking up because if I'm laying on my left side, my left leg eventually I don't want to say it falls asleep, but it kind of has the sore feeling, and it wakes me up. So then I wake up, and I have to turn over on the other side. I've tried putting pillows between the knees, pillows underneath the legs. Nothing really works. I know this is only going to get worse, but um, I have noticed that on the nights where I wake up a lot, having to turn one way or another, those are the nights I have an obscene amount of dreams, and all of them are crazy. <laughs> 
so I don't know what kind of correlation there is between that, but there you go. Okay, um, what's left? What haven't I hit? Cravings. Cravings. I haven't had too many cravings. I have not had too many cravings, but I will say during week 18 and 19, <laughs> this is kind of funny, I, I wanted Nutella. I, I wanted Nutella on crackers, Nutella on toast, Nutella on pretzels. It, I just, I wanted Nutella, um, which, of course, isn't the healthiest craving. So I, I resorted to getting those little Nutella and Go jobbers, the tiny little snack packs, so that I wouldn't go completely crazy. I refused to buy a whole jar of Nutella because it probably would have been gone, and that wouldn't be good. <laughs> um, but that's really the only craving I've had. I haven't, the cravings have kind of subsided. Um, there are actually some days where if I don't look down and see the bump, it's like, I, you know what, I don't even feel pregnant on certain days. And I know that during the second trimester that's kind of common because a lot of the stuff from the first trimester goes away. Like I've mentioned, I've had a couple of things here and there that have stuck with me, but for the most part I'm feeling pretty good. And the cravings, I, I haven't had anything like pickles and ice cream, so... I guess that's just not me. Not yet, at least. <laughs> so, other than that, that's about it, guys. Um, I know, the other thing I've written down here is I know during, I think it was week 17, um, I started having a lot of feelings wondering if a sh perfect stranger walking down the street would realize I'm pregnant or not, if I had gotten to that point yet. Um, because, like I said, plus size, you don't always realize that someone's pregnant right away. Sometimes you just think they had one too many burritos. Um, and I fall into that category. <laughs> so, of course, and I'm just going to be blunt, I, there were days where it was like, you know, I wonder if a stranger would think I'm pregnant or if they just think I'm fat. That crossed my mind numerous times. And, um, my husband and I did go out to eat one night I think it was the day after I first had that thought, and the waitress, I don't remember what it is she said, but she she recognized that I was pregnant, and, and again, the waterworks started, because the whole emotional thing kicked in that I explained earlier, and that made me feel so much better. Um, during this week, I will say that the belly has definitely popped. <laughs> the belly has definitely popped. Um, I don't know if it's because baby is laying a different way or if all, you know, all the stretching and whatnot, um, came to a abrupt pop of the belly bump. <laughs> um, cause I, I haven't felt too many of those stretching pains currently right now. They seem to have subsided though. I know that, you know, I could get more of them later on, but it, they seem to come in waves. Like I get, I get a lot of the stretching and the pains and whatnot, and then a week or two later, suddenly the bump looks bigger. So that seems to be the pattern. Um, I will post some bump pictures at the end of this video, the ones that I have taken, and I will take a current one for you. Um, even though technically I am 20 weeks tomorrow, I'm 20 weeks tomorrow, so that uh, the last bump shot is pretty much the 20 week bump shot which amazes me. That amazes me, but I will save all of that for next week's vlog so we have something to talk about. This is getting kind of long. Quickly, I do have an appointment tomorrow night. It is my 20-week appointment, and the anatomy scan is this Friday. Hopefully, we will not actually be finding out on Friday, though part of me, part of me has thought about just saying, tell me what it is, because I'm getting really impatient. I'm getting really impatient, but our plan is to have them put it in an envelope. My gender reveal party will be the following week on Sunday, June 14th, and that's when we'll all find out. I do intend on making a gender reveal video that I will post shortly after. I'm kind of thinking about pre-recording one for both a boy and a girl. This way I can um, upload them. Maybe I'll upload them private and then be able to switch one of them to public, whichever one it ends up being right after the gender party so um everybody can find out relatively quickly i don't want to uh make you wait as long as i made you wait for this video that would be bad so i don't want to do that but i i kind of still i haven't nailed down entirely what i want to do for the gender reveal video i've got a couple of different ideas bouncing in my head so i have to finalize that so this upcoming week should be pretty exciting this week and next week 
Um, I will save all of that for the next update, but we are excited. We are excited. Oh, one other thing. Shopping. Shopping. We haven't done a whole lot of shopping. Um, we're waiting for the gender reveal, obviously. But I will say, I did start looking around for various furniture, cribs in particular. And if you're out of my Facebook, you may have caught wind of this. Uh, there was a crib at, of all places, Ikea that I liked. And I say it that way because normally I'm not big on Ikea furniture. Um, it's really hit or miss with them. Some things I really like and some things I really hate. And this crib was just adorable. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I, I'll look it up and put it here. Put a picture of it up here. And long story short, I went to my local Ikea. There are two in my state. I went to the, my local one, the one closer to me, and they didn't even have it on display. So then at that point, I looked online, which I probably should have done in the first place, and realized that both of the Ikeas in my state didn't have it in stock. It didn't say that they didn't carry it, they just said they didn't have it in stock. But I thought it was interesting that they didn't even have one on display. So then I look at it online and it says you can't order it online either. So at that point I felt like I was kind of up a creek and that I was not going to be able to get that crib. I was kind of aggravated, posted it on Facebook and a couple of people joked around and said, hey road trip. So of course I got curious, went back to Ikea looked at every single United States location that they had, and 95% of them said that they were out of stock, and the other 5% said they didn't carry it. So then I was really aggravated, because I was like, why would you even have this on your website? Is it just that popular that you're out of supply and can't keep up, or are you getting rid of it? Again, I went back to thinking about the fact that it wasn't even on display at my Ikea. So I went back on Facebook, commented some more, <laughs> and in the end, in the end, I have a friend, a very good friend, that I went to high school with who now lives in the Middle East. And he saw that post and went to his Ikea and found my crib. And I'm going to cry. He found my crib and it is en route. Um, it takes a couple weeks to get to me from there, so I don't have it yet, but probably in about a week and a half. He went and bought it and shipped it to me, and that is his baby gift to us. And I need to stop talking because I'm going to cry. Um, his name is John. John, if you are watching this, if you watch my videos, I know you caught wind of the fact that I do these videos recently. Thank you again. You're amazing. All right, that's it. We're going to stop making the pregnant woman cry, <laughs> and I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for sticking with me and waiting for this long overdue update. Um, I will try and make sure that I get one up in a normal amount of time since we have the 20-week um, doctor appointment coming up and the anatomy scan and the gender reveal, and I will definitely make sure I keep on it so I don't keep you guys waiting. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your comments. I've mentioned before, I'll mention it again, I love the comments, I read every last one of them. Um, I may not always reply, but I do appreciate them, and I appreciate all of you guys for supporting and subscribing. So, with that, before this video gets to be a half an hour long, I am going to let you go, and those of you who are still trying out there, keep trying. Don't give up. Don't give up. Bye.